So how do you prove that your innovation project is not just a creative endeavor, but it's a project that contributes to the organization's bottom line? Look, to be honest, if you cannot do that and the wins of your project are not obvious, you risk your innovation project being labeled as a failure and that might affect your career. If this conversation is something you're interested in, then let's go. Now, the first question to ask in these things is how do you set the stage for measuring success for your innovation project? And you can do this by clearly stating the goals of the project beforehand. So is it the creation of a new product? Is it the fact that your organization is entering a new market? Or is it that you're streamlining the processes within your organization? Without setting a goalpost, you cannot be sure if you scored a goal or not. Now let's talk about money. Frankly, if you cannot clearly articulate your project's financial impact, you might have a problem. So some of the metrics to think about where you're discussing the financial impacts of your project are net profit. This is a primary metrics, right? This is what tells you how much profit you've made on this product over a set period. To break even point, this is when we determine when the project will have actually become profitable, considering the initial investment and initial project costs. Payback period, which is the amount of time it will take to recoup the initial investment in your innovation project. So the next thing to discuss would be the story around your performance. And the, and the matrix and KPIs you should be looking at there would be sales and revenue, cost savings, so quantify any cost reductions that the, the innovation project has brought over time, and market share, measure if your innovation project has enabled your organization increase its current market share. Now, beyond the dollars and cents and Ghana CDs, you have to measure the innovation innovation impacts of the projects on the organization itself. This is a good story to tell particularly if maybe the cost numbers are not where it needs to be. One good KPI is new products and offerings, which is tracking the number of offerings and products your company has been able to provide based on your innovation project. The other thing would be patents filed. This is a metric that gauges the uniqueness and the strength of your innovation project. Another really great metrics outside of the financial metrics is employee engagement metrics. Innovation entrepreneurial projects often lead to employee ownership, involvement, and intrinsic motivation. So one of the metrics you can track employee retention has this project enable for your particular department or for your organization higher employee retention, employee satisfaction. You could, at the end of the project, survey the employees to see whether there's been higher engagement and satisfaction just on the basis of being involved and motivated as part of the project. Now, customers are a treasure trove of gold mine on return on investment on innovation projects. Here's how to tap into that. Number one, customer satisfaction. So you utilize surveys, feedback mechanisms to find out from your customers based on your innovation project, whether or not there is a higher satisfaction and a higher contentment with your products and your services. Second thing is a customer retention rate. Calculate the percentage of customers that have been retained over the period in which your innovation project has been live. Next, learning and growth metrics. You, you should be able to enumerate the skills that have been developed in-house on the basis of the launch of the innovation project, and then also measure dissemination of knowledge and best practices across the team because of the launch of your innovation project. Another thing to measure is future potential benefits. What's the long gain? How do you spot future endeavors from your project. You should be able to quantify and enumerate the list of growth opportunities that might come to the organization, to your department, even to your boss on the basis of the launch of this project. 
And then there are the intangible benefits that your project might have brought into the organization. Brand awareness, more people are aware of the brand because the work done in launching this project. Stakeholder relationships, has this project enhanced the relationships between the organization and its various stakeholders? This is something to explore and think about. And above all else, calculate the return on investment. We know what that calculation is, right? Net profit from the project minus the cost of the project over the cost of the project. Look, at the end of the day, some innovation projects do well, some innovation projects fail. But your ability to use different KPIs and different metrics to tell the story of the project is going to determine how that project is viewed and seen across the organization and that might help with your career enhancement and that might help with telling your career story. In wrapping up, true return on investment reflects a blend of impacts. How will you apply these insights onto your next project?